Hey Virgo, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, splash, splash, splash that like button and do subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind, you guys, this is a general love reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Arenas, but all signs are welcome. And personal reading link and anything else you might need is in the description box below this video. Okay, Virgos, let's get into this reading. This is going to be your love reading for June 2023. And I'm going to do a little bit different. I'm going to take a look at, well, it's not really all that different. I'm going to take a look at your energy and then um, the other person coming towards you. Okay, so let's get in this. Hello, everyone in the chat and welcome to all my new members. Okay, so Virgo, you've got cassette outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Okay, Virgo, so you might be in this constant loop feed, cycle loop, replaying some past memories, thinking about the past, you know, even maybe the 80s, <laughs> maybe the 90s, thinking about what life was like when, you know, you were younger or how things were easier. Um, okay. Some of you might just be like, oh, look, at, I still have all my old cassette tapes. <laughs> that is so very, so very, okay. And the other person who's coming towards you is seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. Okay. Okay. One more. There we go. I just want to, okay. Okay. You also have paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, one nice, oh, oneness, enjoying each other, friends. So yeah, Virgo, it's like, I feel like your energy is kind of like, man, things are so much easier back in the day. You know, life was just what it was. I feel like Virgo in June, you're going to just be reminiscing about the good times, right? The good times. But you've got somebody here. I don't know if this person's in already in your life or coming towards you, but I don't like, I don't like it. <laughs> so there is somebody external to you who's kind of like being a real big flirt. Okay. Having fun. Okay. Seduction. Girl talk. Talking to a lot of females. Talking to a lot of guys. Okay. What do these two have to do with each other? Let's see. Now, it, you know what? Let's just say it's someone external to you, okay? And you can define <laughs> what that means for you. All right, let me see here. Okay, Virgo. So, chemistry, strong magnetic attraction sitting on your end. So, yeah, I kind of feel like Virgo, yeah, you're heavily in June, I don't know, it's just going to be hitting you heavily in June, like really being inundated with past memories and thinking about the good times and that kind of stuff, you know? I don't know, Virgo. Okay. And whoever's external to you here is kind of like they're flirting with their friends. I don't know. You know what? I don't know what's going on here with this person. But it, it just feels like maybe you're reminiscing about all the good times with another person and the relationships ended and this person is kind of off doing their own, like talking to other people and, you know, flirting with other. I mean, I know, Virgo, I know some of you are like, I don't want to hear this message. Well, okay. I don't blame you. All right. Let me see here. If that hurts you, I'm sorry. Um... I feel like there's somebody external to you also who is like asking their friends, uh, something must have ended. And there's someone external to you like talking to their friends like, hey, can you help me talk to somebody? Or can, asking their friends to help, help them meet somebody else. Okay, I know it's not going to be for all of you, but let's take a look at you, Virgo. Okay. Yeah, Virgo, you're sitting here with this three of swords. What is going on? Like you're, are you feeling heartbroken about something? Something ended, you ended something and there was some separation. And I feel like maybe you're just in this place now where you're just reminiscing about the good times. It doesn't mean that you're trying to get back with anybody. Okay. It, it's just an energy of like, you know, thinking back on... 
guess I want to say like the silver lining, uh, just only having the good memories. All right, what's going on with this other person here? Oh, yeah, they got the tower. Wow. Okay. This is somebody who I feel if a relationship ended, like they're in desperation. This person is in desperation. They're trying to like hook up. This is how they're kind of like dealing with some shocking revelation that something's over. This is not someone who is healing before dealing. This is someone who is scrambling. They are like scrambling, like some scrambled eggs, trying to get that tossing and turning, trying to get that hookup, trying to talk to other people because they can't, there's some kind, like, I don't know, the, this high tower, this high tower, what the hell? This tower is like a huge ending and it's like a shock. This person's in shock about something that's ended and they're, they're trying, they're going to do the rebound thing, Virgo. They're doing the, like, they're going to get them, like, oh. And I feel like you're over here, like, yeah, you know, we had some good times. And, you know, thinking back on the good times. But you're also in a happy place as well. Even though something's ended, it looks like you either ended something or you were forced to end something. But this person, like, even with this tower card, this can be a very physical, um, orgasmic kind of card as well, you know. And... I feel like someone's like trying to get some stimulation on the tip. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Reading's over. See you later. You're good, Virg. You're good. Okay. So, you're definitely sitting here like, mm, you know what? Sucks. Something ended. We did have some good chemistry, but, you know, we weren't compatible. You know, there were some times of the relationship that was like paradise. And, you know, we had a lot of things that weren't good and common. Um, you know, we might have had like the same music tastes or things like that. But I don't know, Virgo. Let me see. Okay. Hmm. You sitting there with the Knight of Wands. So some of you like ended this relationship with someone because they were... Um, trying to be Knight of Wandy, <laughs> you know what I mean? Someone who was just like, there's a lot of passion, definitely. I feel like some of you ended the relationship because maybe that's all there really was. You know, there wasn't anything else going on. And I see you here with the Knight of Wands and you're just kind of like, yo, Stella got her groove back. I'm, yeah, something's over. I can look back on it and say, well, it is what it is. You know, it was what it was. And yeah, it was kind of heartbreaking or there was like an argument or some kind of divorce or um, some loss. Maybe you went through a little period of depression or something. Like you took that knife and you just like cut the cord and you, you know, you have your, you still have your like your wand energy, Virgo. You're just like, okay, passionate about life, passionate about, you know, connecting with another person or other people. And I feel like you're in go-getter mode. You know what I mean? I feel like you're kind of like, at least you will be in June in this like free spirited, getting real creative with things in your life. Um, you know, being very active. Maybe there's some new project or creative ideas you're going after, you know, uh, feeling like the lust for life, confident, charming, courageous. Okay. Yeah. This person over here, five of swords, like... <laughs> They're in a bad, <laughs> bad way. Okay, Major Arcana is the tower. So some of you could be Mars energy. Well, it is Mars energy. It could be Aries or Scorpio, the other person. But even with that Five of Swords, yeah, I, I mean, for some it could be an Aquarius. But I feel like with the Five of Swords, this person is like, they're reactive because they got like some kind of cut off, hardcore, straight cut off. And they're acting out and they're being very like abusive in relationships, you know? Like I feel like this person is just like, you know what? No, I'm not going to heal. I'm not going to go and, you know, talk to a counselor. I'm not going to like sit and just try to heal my broken parts or deal with my pain. No, I'm going to go out and F. And I'm just going to like put notches in my belt as many as I can, male or female. This is the energy. And this is how I'm going to deal with it. And I'm not getting into any relationships. I'm just going to get out there and just, 
you know, trophy it up. That's my goal. Cause F Virgo. Yeah. That's kind of like you nobody puts baby in a quarter. Yeah. You like came out of nowhere and just, you know, you ended this and you know, like you totally broke my ego and with the way you did that. And nobody does that to me. Cause I'm amazing. <laughs> And this person's like, you know, some people, you know what I mean? Like you go through heartbreak and something ended and then you go through like this little period here where, you know, hopefully some people are like, you know, I got to get myself together. Some people are like, oh, maybe, you know, I want my person back. Like, what do I need to change? No, this MF first, like, no, I'm just going to rack them up, rack them up. Let me get all them phone numbers. Let me start texting people. Let me start flirting, talking to their friends. Hey, do you have anyone that you know is available? And like crazy, like that's, that is so honestly, this, this person that you have a connection with is acting like an 18 year old, like seriously. And actually I can't even say that because there's some 18 year olds who are just like, they don't even do that. I don't know. Maybe we should lower it and say, yo man, like you're, what are you, what are you six? <laughs> So somebody's just basically going out there and with this three of swords, you see this, you see this person here holding the three of swords, you know, hurt people, hurt people, right? So three of swords over here, something ended, there's a breakup. Now this person's coming out with this three of swords and like they're connecting with people and then they're like cutting them off. Who is this Virgo? Who is this person? to you and this is what this is what i feel like is going on and you're over here with the knight of pentacles you know like i'm good like i'm you know i'm steady i'm stable virgo looks that way to me with the knight of pentacles you're just like <laughs> being patient working hard you know becoming like this reliable person or being more reliable being resourceful you know totally solid practical in june just like being patient I, I don't I don't know Virgo I just feel like like you do have your lust for life and stuff you're focusing on the reality of things you know any real offers come in you're making real offers you're not playing around you know um, but you're also having fun and going after your hopes wishes and dreams now let me get one more card for this person and then I'm gonna go into a different set of realities here what the heck is going on oh okay yeah see that's what I'm saying like this story with this person is the same Okay, they're just, they're flirting, they're having fun, party time. Okay, that's what's going on with them. Okay, and you know, uh, does that mean they're actually making those physical connections? I don't know. I definitely feel like they're trying, you know, um, th this is how they're dealing with their hurt and their pain. Okay, so <clears throat> hold on a second. All right, what's coming towards Virgo in June? That's what I want to ask. What's coming towards Virgo in June? Okay. Oh, wow, you got the Wheel of Fortune, just like yesterday's Four Leaf Clovers. I mean, major shift and change happening for you. You're going to get very lucky in June. I said that yesterday. And um, things going in your favor, Virgo. You know, this Wheel of Fortune... Hmm. Um, there's like a turning point happening for you. Definitely. Um, there's, there's a turning point happening here. I mean, you might get lucky on the roulette wheel. You take some chances for sure. And you wind up getting lucky. I mean, I just feel Virgo, like you're going to be so good in June. The, in like the rest of June just very lucky like things are going to work out in your favor and I, I just I feel like like you've turned you're turning this this corner in June if you haven't already started that you'll be turning this corner in June and things are just going to start moving heading in the right direction for you let me just take a look look at that wow you got the ten of cups Virgo happily ever after I mean I don't know, Virgo, if you like were in some kind of situation with someone that I, I don't know why something ended here. You know, I feel like you're looking back on a past relationship and like 
going into June, like your triggers are going to start going away and you're going to be able to like accept and just be like, you know, it was what it was and these were the good aspects and these were the not so great aspects and but it wasn't going to work out and, you know, making that decision to move forward and, you know, walking into bliss, walking into your your blessing is what's going on here in especially in June and moving and going forward with the wheel into that that ten of cups i mean come on like total contentment getting that love and support that you've always wanted or you've always needed giving it as well you know just being in this like i don't know it sounds so very fairy tale-ish but i just feel like this happily ever after energy um they just kept telling me like karmic justice and you know if the justice card shows up then maybe but i just keep i don't i don't know like i feel like that's just an energetic thing I, I don't feel like you're in a place of like or at least going in forward in june i don't feel like you're in the place of like oh, i'm gonna take revenge or do anything i feel like you're just kind of accepting things and moving on with your life in june while this other person uh, i mean it, i don't know they seem like they just the way they're dealing with the hurt and pain is very unhealthy it's very toxic and yeah they're coming in with this magician energy oh my gosh um you know the magician in general you know can be very manipulative do you know what i mean so this is gemini energy here the magician in general can be very um well it's mercury so it could be virgo or or gemini but this person is like trying to get their needs met they're they're manipulating at this time to try to get their needs met so in other words like they're hurting they're in pain and the way they're getting their needs met is by manipulating people places and things to um kind of have some kind of outcome so that they don't have to deal with their the shock of something ending here of something you know a, an argument or a breakup or a divorce okay yeah because something ended here the death card so we have scorpio energy again they're trying to have a new beginning, but I feel like the way they're trying to have a new beginning in their life is they're going about it all the wrong way because they're going to rebound. It's going to backfire on them. And they're going to be worse off than they were right before this happened. Okay, they're going to be worse off because they're just going to, you know, not even like they're not rolling with the punches. They're throwing punches. They're trying to, you know, they're dealing before they're healing. That's what they're doing. And that's just the outcome of that is going to be no good. So Virgo looks like the two of you are dealing very different, differently with your decisions and your choices. Like Virgo, I feel like you're taking the path in June of um, healing before you're dealing. And I feel like this person's choosing the path to deal before they heal. Okay. And the thing is that when that happens, when one person heals first before they you know um, engage in romantic affairs going forward they have a better outcome because they've healed up all their trauma and their issues but when the other person um, deals first with people they not only leave a trail of destruction broken hearts with other people um, but when it's time for them like when they get tired of it and then they finally are like okay I need to heal now they've lost all this time Virgo's long gone Virgo is long gone. Okay. So let me see. What's going to be the outcome here for this relationship? Because I feel like, Virgo, I don't know. I just kind of feel like for you, the main thing here was just <sighs> trying to get yourself free so you could like just be happy with something. Okay. The outcome is strength. And unconditional love, Virgo. All right. So, okay. Yeah. So, I mean, I do feel like you're going to get an apology from this person over here. Um, and I feel like, so the courage to make an apology to you, that's the on the table. And there's also the courage to accept one. I don't really feel like, Virgo, some of you are just probably don't even need that. I mean, if anything, maybe, okay, great to hear. But... I don't really feel like you need some kind of an apology because I feel like you've already accepted and you're just like, you know, it's whatever, it's done. You know, if you haven't accepted 
things, then you would be seeking an apology, okay, to help you accept it. But for some of you, I feel like no, I don't need it because I've already accepted it. Like it's it's whatever, it's done, it's good. But I do feel like this person's going to kind of reach out and try to. They're scrambling. I'm telling you, I keep seeing scrambling, scrambled eggs. This person's definitely going to reach out and try to like apologize to you because they feel like going forward, they're going to come to the end of this charade that they're doing and start going through this healing process as well because the death card represents um, big changes, endings, and transforming. Okay, so as there, I mean, some of you, like, you may have had a breakup with this person a long time ago, okay, and they may have been this whole time, however long, just kind of like trying to seduce others and, you know, you know, how it goes, all that crazy stuff that they're doing, partying, having fun with other people, you know, people are like, oh, I need to go out with my friends and, you know, <laughs> um, yeah, there's definitely going to be like an apology. Why would you need courage to accept an apology? Okay. All right. For some of you, it's not necessarily courage to accept the apology. It's more like, you know, okay, I mean, thanks, but I've already moved on. And I feel like this person, um, yeah, this person is going to try and, um, they're coming in to apologize and try to fix things, talk about things, get back on the same page and start over. Okay. So Virgo, I don't know. Like the Eight of Cups can be a card of temporary separation. And Virgo, I mean, you're like on this journey of self-conditional love, right? Like you're kind of uh, unconditional love for self, excuse me. <laughs> you're kind of like, I don't know, Virgo. You like bypass some serious stuff. You've healed or you're healing, you know, or you have been, you know. And I do see two people, you know, I feel like this person is going to try to like either... Um, ex uh, respond to an, to an apology that's offered or try to offer one in return or accept an apology that's offered or offer you one to hope in the hopes that you'll um, respond. Now, either to come together as just friends or to, you know, put things, make it neutral or try to have a new romantic love start again. Yeah, but I don't know, Virgo. I just kind of feel like you're like, well, you know, uh, questioning you know, you, I don't, I don't see you seeing, I don't see you like jumping at the, at the helm there and be like, oh yeah, definitely. Let's just do it. No, I don't feel like that's your energy. <laughs> I feel like Virgo, you're more like, mm, I don't know. You might, you might, you might accept, you might accept, you might talk to the person, try to bring harmony, peace, balance. I feel like that's where you're at, you know, going forward, just, you know, and also kind of like, you know, can asking, questioning, can we have like um, harmony in this connection? You know, so these two cups coming together here and then you've got, you know, the angels like, is this meant to be, you know, mixing our fluids together? I don't know if I want to do that. Do I want to do that? I don't know. Virgo, I kind of feel like right now, you know... <laughs> Or at least for a while, this person's been just all over the map. All over the map, trying to deal with their stuff. Having a hard time coping, you know. Are they going to heal? I mean, there's definitely transformation with the death card and trying to um, manifest a new start or a new beginning within themselves. Yes. Um, but some of you, like, I don't know, you might be like, I don't know, you've had enough time, maybe we need, you know? Like, there's definitely been some kind of, you separated yourself from something here. I don't see that you're definitely, like, either one of you are definitely going to be together, and I don't see that you're not. I feel like it just kind of comes down to, like, you know, with that temperance, like... Temperance is all about, you know, being, like, kind of even keel. It's like being tempered. It's like um, uh, being strong, uh, you know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> I'm trying to think of a, a way that I need to explain this. It's like uh, self-control and moderation, you know? Um, Non-explosive, I'm just hearing. Something about this relationship must have been very explosive in the past. There was some 
some explosive something ex they just keep giving me like an explosion like some kind of explosion you know like a like a tempered volcano would be one that's just kind of simmering but it's not intended to explode you know it's just kind of there and it's just even keel but there was something explosive about this connection and um i don't know maybe you exploded on this person or this person exploded on you i don't know there was just this energy of like ign ignition igniting each other in the relationship and then to be able to kind of like come back where there's harmony and peace i mean that's definitely um something here to be questioned or to be talked about okay are you at peace have you tempered your um maybe anger or control or or your emotions have you tempered things have you gotten a handle on things okay um maybe you ended something because of somebody's i don't know there was maybe some communication problems but you know just a lot of back and forth of that like somebody keeps throwing like gasoline cans into the fire you know both of you tossing them in there <laughs> so yeah i feel like virgo um yeah they're not just they're just not i mean there is a possibility i do feel like this person does want to kind of just get back to a really good spot with you and try to like make peace and have both of you come together in union here in harmony with healing i do see that um i don't know virgo you 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 might kind of just delay it and be like look right now i'm still trying to like sort things i don't know virgo i'm not picking up a strong energy of you saying yes uh, it's more like a maybe yeah, i got you at a maybe i got you at a maybe hold on a sec okay that was upright in my deck so i felt like that needed to be looked at friendship that could lead to more yeah so this feels to me like you're maybe or both i don't know virgo i feel like you kind of have a i feel like you're pulling the strings in this relationship um for some reason but i feel like most of you are gonna be like you know maybe we should try to be friends first and then see if we can build on that you know um and not have such high expectations of each other yeah i definitely feel you guys come together with with this energy but now that you know that this person's like out doing what they're doing you might want to get like some blood tests done too um some of you now that you feel uh, i mean listen i'm not saying that your person is definitely doing that okay you know messing around with other people i think that what i want to tell you is if you know that to be a fact virgo if you know that to be a fact if you find out through the grapevine or something comes to light and there's evidence that that's what your person is doing okay but i don't want you to apply this to um your person if you don't know that that's true the energy that i'm picking up like i said i don't necessarily see that this person is actually it seems more like flirting um and trying to meet people but i i don't know there's something that tells me that they're not actually making physical contact with other people now if you happen to know that they are okay that's your story um but i don't necessarily i mean it could be some online stuff where there's just ch there's chatter online and maybe some something going on there but i i don't feel like there's an actual thing in what i'm seeing here like i said if you know for a fact that that is what's happening and i'm telling you i'm not seeing it like listen to yourself first before you you know listen to me all right so some of you might be like oh you know it sucks that you dealt with it that way but whatever i kind of feel like i'm prying and peeking into somebody's personal stuff here and i feel really bad about that because someone's journey like they like if you guys get back together like this person needs to kind of clue you in like i guess they don't if you guys aren't together i guess they don't have to tell you what they've been doing but you know it's kind of a courtesy like yeah you know if someone's really heartfelt and they're opening up and you know they're trying to have this connection with you especially as friends you'd be like yeah i went on like kind of this rampage i don't know i lost my mind and you know i was just acting the way i was i was acting out of character for me and uh you know but then again sometimes it's not necessary to say those things if you guys are in like complete not talking just to not hurt anybody going forward by saying those things okay so wait the timing is not quite right so yeah there's a this is like a slow rebuild 
here between you and another person okay and if that's something that you want virgo that's fine if you just want to be like you know just be civil no you know water under the bridge just let it go forgiveness forget about it move it on and we'll just be civil with each other it's perfectly fine it's completely your choice some of you just might be like nah i don't even want to be friends and i'm moving on like that's why i said you're kind of in this maybe i see you in a uh, not so sure no absolutes no definites okay yeah got healing old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting and some of you might be like well i don't know if about getting back together i mean how much healing have you done if you've been out there riding horses <laughs> and not like sitting in the stable talking with the farmers and trying to get a handle on your life then i don't know about that because if you haven't healed then you know like what's going on but there's definitely a healing that needs to happen and i do feel like this person's kind of starting off with well i'm healing in other ways i'm healing in very unorthodox ways and i don't know virgo's kind of like well you do what you got to do whatever virgo's on a good path that's what i see all right let me see okay direct honest female okay so virgo there's someone in your life very direct very honest this could be you getting direct and honest with yourself or there's somebody else who's coming forward in your life is going to be direct and honest with you and for some of you this can be like someone who does come forward this person you know and it's like you know you are you're you've always been my wish come true and i want to make you happy on an emotional level okay um this person yeah i just you know i don't know virgo wealth health and abundance okay so you definitely have this person is going to try to um they want to please you definitely i feel like somebody's definitely learned their lesson and you have two virgo it's not just one person there's a lot of learning experiences you're having as well um and it's good so it does kind of feel a little bit balanced i mean everybody deals with things differently and i feel like uh, some of you virgos maybe you did kind of do like the roles could be reversed maybe virgo you were the one who went out and was like f that person i'm gonna just make myself available and just go on a rampage of like dating all kinds of different people so, uh, like somebody might have done that one of you virgos might have done that and like got something out of your system and that was just kind of like an ego thing for some of you um either way you know i do feel like <laughs> it's so crazy i was just looking at this card here you see it's w uh, w h a i kind of feel like you're going to get some kind of an apology or message or something from someone where it's like what what and it didn't wasn't about my reading yesterday it was wait what yeah that energy still it's it kind of like um rolls into the next reading sometimes i i just get a sense where somebody's gonna i feel like it's gonna be unexpected too where they just come in and they just want to talk to you and try to work things out and you know try to get to a good place with you and maybe even apologize for things that they didn't feel that you never thought they would you know or try to like make peace with you about some stuff that happened or things that you didn't even know like they may come in and tell you you know i just went on this wild rampage for like, trying to deal with my problems and i got myself into some trouble and you know i just nothing helped nothing worked and you know i'm, I'm transforming my life and you know I found out that that lifestyle was just boring. I don't want that lifestyle. I don't want to go back to that. What we had was great. You know, I don't I don't want to go back to that. And I just reacted in the way I did when I was younger. And I don't, it's boring. And there's nothing there for me. And it didn't serve any purpose. Yeah, it soothed, it, you know, massaged my ego for a little while there. But like, it's just at the end of the day that you weren't there. And you're not there. And like my whole life, ah. Oh! <laughs> you complete me <laughs> you know how i am with my jerry jerry mcguire oh, my mission statement and everything about you and i looked for you and my wife was gone and you weren't there to celebrate the good moments oh. 
<laughs> Virgo. Like, I can't. <laughs> Virgo's like, well, I don't know. I'm still undecided. Like, I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> you said all this before, you know. You told me this before. Like, how do I know it's real? Like, come on. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I'll have to see. What time is it? Uh, yeah, I gotta be at work. Can I call you back? I'll talk to you later. <laughs> I don't know. I'm doing so good now. I just, you know, you said this before. How do I know that you mean it this time? You know, you always do this. We get in an argument. We split up. And then you go on a rampage. And then you come back with your tail between your legs. And you're feeling bad. And you miss me and all this. And then I say yes. And then we get back together. And the cycle repeats. And it repeats. And it repeats. Like, no. This time, no. I'm undecided. I'm not saying yes. And I'm not saying no. Oh, we'll just see what you do. Because <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I'm healing. I'm doing my thing. All right. So we go. What are we doing? Chinese signs. Okay, Virgo. You and this person. How long? Rat. We've got a rat in the house. Jimmy Fink rat. All right. Virgo, or whatever. Rat. Chinese sign. Year of the rat. Okay. Year of the ox. Year of the pig. Year of the rooster. Year of the horse. Pig again. <laughs> Year of the snake, year of the dog, year of the dragon. What? Okay, Virgo. Let us get into your names and other randoms, and then do your dice, and then your charms, and then we shall go on to tomorrow's video, which will be your weekend love reading. And I am staying in the house for the next three days because I am in Jersey near Philly area and we have got smoke like nobody's business I'm like did I go to a campfire and I didn't realize it so I, you know I'm outside I come in my shirt smells like smoke it's hazy it's hard to breathe and any of you who are because we have some wild we have a couple of wildfires here in the state and then all that smoke coming down from those Canadian fires so anybody that's in that path I, I feel you stay in the house be well. Fill your... I heard somebody say she takes her... She runs hot water in the house. So all the steam gets into the house. You know, like hot water from the tub or whatever. The steam pushes the smoke down, I guess, or something like that. She was saying that, that she's in California and that's what they do when they have those um, fires out there. I don't know. We never have to do that here in Jersey because we don't ever have this these issues. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's been horrible. And I said it yesterday in the chat, and today it's even worse. Like the air, it's like a code red, y'all. It's code red. You go outside, and it's all hazy, and it's turning orange, and like you can't, like it just. Ugh. So and those poor animals up in Canada and everywhere. So sad. So be safe if you're. If that's happening to you. Be safe if you're up in New York and up in the Northeast and. Um, heading south a bit there so be careful new york new jersey pennsylvania boston delaware um washington dc virginia down into the carolinas i think it's going okay <clears throat> somebody has a infinity symbol uh, tattoo or symbol somewhere around them maybe it's Maybe they drive an infinity. There's a symbol, infinity symbol I'm picking up. Okay. Oh, and then we got someone. So one of you, I don't know who it is. Somebody writes JK all the time. Like, just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm joking. Remember yesterday we had somebody says, um, you crack me up. <laughs> now today we have someone's like, J JK. JK, 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 just kidding, I'm joking, just joking. Somebody says that a lot, okay? Again, I'm seeing Zelensky again, why? Why is Zelensky showing up here? Okay, I don't know. I guess they're trying to tell you like that whole political thing, stunt that I gave you with Zelensky and the war and all that was... I don't know, a couple days ago, a few days ago. 
that reading still still ringing true um and i'm seeing someone here is really into makeup cosmetics like really like maybe you have a cosmetic business or someone has a cosmetic business or a makeup business does tutorials or videos or works in that industry like really heavily i mean right now you could be listening to this and going through your makeup and seeing what you got or you're shopping for it or just kind of i'm just picking up like i'm seeing makeup powders blushes creams lipsticks eyeliners all of that okay if you're planning on starting a business in the cosmetic field or industry of somewhat um, or getting involved in that, I see that paying off very well. Okay, definitely go for it. Uh, queen Cosmetics, queen, queen Makeup, something like that. Even you guys, even you guys getting into the makeup industry, cosmetic industry, cosmetology, something along those lines. Um, okay. All right, they're just giving this strange name. Uh, Meneres. Meneres. They're saying, um, is it Meneres disease? I think that's something with the ear. Something to do with the ears. Somebody's having an issue with the ear or the ears. Um, and they're saying Meneres. Okay. And just get two more. I'm not getting any names. I am picking up, um, getting a lot of tens here. Um, oh, and they just gave me the, uh, the word maze. M-A-Z-E, maze or mace. Or maze, that the word significant for someone. Um, one more, one more, one more. Okay. Maze, blaze, trapped in a blaze maze. I don't know what that means. Um, okay, now Pez. <laughs> I'm just telling you, you know, the little Pez candy. Pez candies. That's what I'm hearing. Pez candies. So I don't know if you see that somewhere. You eat that or you see somebody with Pez candy. Yeah, that's significant for something. And I'm also picking up 10 pence. Um, hmm. I, why is why am I getting that? I mean, is that even a thing anymore? I'm not in the UK, but I think they're all euros, aren't they? Or maybe they're not anymore. I don't know. But I'm. it doesn't matter. I don't need to justify it. I just see a 10 Pent coin. It could be 10 cents as well, which we have American currency is a 10 cent a, a dime here, but 10 pence. So I don't know. Is Europe, Europe, UK is not part of the euro anymore, right? Pretty sure. Anyway, I should keep up on my current um, events, but yeah, um, whatever maybe you have a coin an old coin or maybe you actually have one or something along those lines and um uh trapped in a blaze maze and there's a lot of haze that's what i'm hearing or i, I see a blaze maze and a lot of haze and that go figure I'm picking up that fire um so I'm seeing a, a new fire in Phoenix, a fire starter, very small in Phoenix. And I'm also picking up, um, an, uh, this is strange, like a new eruption in the Philippines. Uh, I guess it's a volcano, like a new or fire or volcano eruption in the Philippines. Um, and a small fire starting in Pennsylvania, somewhere in the up north by up towards New York. Okay, I don't know what the climate is like up there. Isn't it very dense and wet? I think there's going to be um, something like that. Okay, I know. These weren't even related to the reading, but what came out came out. So, all right. So, Cancer, Leo, Aries is here, and Capricorn. Okay. September 4th, the 12th, September 3rd. Um... September 1970. Someone's born 1970. Okay. Um, September 1st, the 16th, the 8th, and the 7th. All right. Okay. 
Okay, you guys, hold on. Someone's born in 1985, 1952, um, <clears throat> 1990, area code 717. Um, we have 905. It doesn't have to be area code. It could be streets. Uh, 717, oh, we also have 310, um, 252, someone is 48, and also 34, and someone was also born in 1984. That was a good year. I was a teenager, just getting ready to get into high school. Okay, seven, seven, seven. Hello, lucky sevens, lucky sevens. I told you you were going to be lucky in June. You better go play, pay to play. Okay, so we've got five, six, one, and four, seven, zero. All right, let me get a couple of charms. And let's see what's going on with your charms, Virgo. Wow, okay, good. <laughs> All right, this is comical. So first one I want to show you, and, and this is like, I, I put all my charms back, but we again have another um, four-leaf clover. So this is a continuation message. Like I said, you were, you're going to get lucky in June. Some of you, you're going to get very lucky in love. Two of hearts, two hearts that beat as one. I need you, I need you. Remember that song? Anybody? Anybody? Bueller? Bueller? Two hearts here. Okay, very good. Lucky in love. Two hearts coming together, intertwined. And some of you, like, this is just a really basic message, okay? Your cat would be sticking its starfish up in your face. You know how you wake up in the morning and your cat's there trying to, like, paw on you, and then they stick their butt in your face, and it's, like, massive starfish attack? I don't have a cat, but I had a cat, and, that, and he used to do that all the time. So, I mean, if that's happening to you right now, <laughs> Your cat, you're just like rubbing your cat's spine and then all of a sudden they're like not damn things twerking in your face and whatever. It's okay, Virgo. It's all right. I just need you to know. Now also, um, that's a kangaroo. So it could be, um, I don't know, maybe you live in an area where there's kangaroos and starfish. It could be somewhere, I don't know, Aren't where are kangaroos at? <laughs> Aren't they in like Australia? And are they on the beach? Are there such things as kangaroos on a beach? What the hell do I know? I've never been there. Maybe I should go. Um, okay. Strange messages, as always. House of Virgo. Drama. All the time. We always have some interesting things going on. So I'm going to leave your le reading there. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Come back here tomorrow for your weekend reading. And don't forget, become a member of my channel. And you can sit here with me live on Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern. And we actually can interact because I'm actually live on Sunday. And you can like, I'll pull some cards, ask some questions. But all you got to do is join my channel, become a member for 33 cents a day. You can pop in on Sundays. Okay, so yeah, have a great evening. Be safe, make good choices, love each other, be happy. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Later.